Hey guys, so just kind of wanted to give you a quick update, a little bump date. Oh my gosh, sorry, those are my boobs. My boobs are just taking over the entire screen, but I guess that's one of the pluses of pregnancy, at least for me, because I've always had kind of smaller boobs, so having big knockers like this is definitely a new experience and it's kind of cool. Um, but I guess if you don't want big boobs, then it would be a minus. <laughs> But here is my little bump. This is 22 weeks, guys. So, what am I? Am I about halfway done with my second trimester? And I'd say the biggest um, thing that I've been experiencing is extremely dry, itchy skin. Like my whole face is really dry. All of me is really dry and it's like, it's almost as if it's like raw, it's really sensitive, so it also reacts to the sunlight a lot, so I can't really sit out and tan too much because I will totally burn. Well, I haven't burned, I just get tan faster, I guess. I guess when you're pregnant, you actually do have more of the defense hormones that actually help you get a better tan quicker, but it does make your skin really sensitive and super dry, so I've just been battling that, but I've been lathering up like a mofo, so. That's been helping quite a bit. And then, what else have I been experiencing? I have been definitely feeling her a lot. She's been moving around, bulging, doing backflips inside of there. What else? I've been feeling pretty good other than that. I've been getting some good workouts in, feeling pretty normal other than, you know, the growing stomach situation, <laughs> which is absolutely normal. But I still don't think I'm that big yet. And a lot of my girlfriends have said that I will get bigger in about a month. So <laughs> I'm excited to see what that's gonna look like. Other than that, the second trimester has been pretty chill, honestly. Nothing crazy has been happening apart from the dry skin, scalp, everything. My entire skin <laughs> is just on fire from being dry. That's definitely the biggest symptom. But other than that, I've just been feeling good. I've been a little more hungry. I can definitely eat a lot more food. Well, I mean, this girl could always eat, let's be honest. <laughs> but I guess now I just don't feel as bad necessarily. And I just kind of, if I'm hungry, I let myself eat. What is this hair doing here? And I have noticed though, if in the morning I don't eat, I will have some stomach pains. I know you're actually not supposed to starve yourself. So I do try to make sure I get in a snack or a small meal before I go to the gym so that the baby is not starving in there and hurting. <laughs> so I am on top of my food for sure, which is not a problem for me. I love food. I love to eat, I love it. I've been organizing um, baby stuff and I just kind of got these boxes right here. Just organizing storage boxes and they're cool because they kind of open up from one end. And I don't know honestly if we're even gonna do a nursery. For now, because the baby doesn't even need a full crib or nursery for the first year initially, and they're gonna sleep with you in a bassinet um, at least for the first six months. So I think I might just keep all of her things storaged like that, and then I might get a little changing table or something like that, we'll see. And then I'm just gonna get a little bassinet and everything else and honestly we don't even have a separate room right now in this place for a nursery so it all works out but if we do get a, end up getting a crib i'm probably going to get one of those mini cribs because they take up less space and that is exactly what i need because we would probably put it in our bedroom with us because she will definitely be sleeping with us for the first year at least um so we can keep an eye on her so that's really where we're at with that guys So a little update on second trimester right here. I'm about 23, well, almost 24 weeks. Yeah, I'm about to be 24 weeks pregnant. And let me just put this here. Here it is, the bump, the bump, the bump date. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm about 20, four weeks pregnant and a funny thing happened to me. My knee got really swollen these past like three or four days and I did have ACL surgery about a year ago and but my knee has been fine and I had finally gotten to the point where everything was feeling amazing and then all of a sudden it just blew up and it became like 
really annoying and hard to extend my knee and bend it just really swelled up and then by the end of the day is my feet have been swelling up too so i definitely think these are some pregnancy things that have been happening to me some of these second trimester symptoms i guess that have been haunting me and another thing that's been like really gross but annoying and happening is that my nostrils have been super dry and i have like these really bloody boogers in there that i like blow out and they're like deep in there and i try to get them out otherwise it's like really hard to breathe so yeah that has been going on a bit of heartburn has been going on I can definitely feel the baby moving a lot more. The bulges have gotten like more intense and I can definitely feel kicks now um, that I can actually classify as kicks, I think. And last night, the other night, I got like kicked like down in the vagina. It was like a kick like bam, down in there. So that did not feel good. It like woke me up from my sleep. Um, <laughs> and then I've also been having back aches like down in here in this whole area. My back has been super achy and annoying and all I want is a friggin' massage, but I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews on the prenatal massage thingies and I don't know if I want to get one or not because I don't like the idea of laying on my side for a massage. I want to like sprawl out like a whale and <laughs> get my back rubbed. My skin has been super like raw. It's just been like super sensitive. Like when I wash my face, it's like red and irritated as if it's like sunburn and that's how it feels. It feels like it's raw. Like if I like touch it, I'm going to take a layer of my skin off. So my skin's been super irritated and dry and flaky and just gross. I have been getting lightheaded a little bit here and there, but nothing crazy. Just a little bit like random days, not every day. And oh, I did have a couple leg cramps. Um, like towards the morning of my sleep where I'm like trying to like stretch and like ooh, extend my legs and then it just like spasms in my calf so I've definitely had some of those pretty much yeah, other than that I'm feeling pretty good obviously my stomach is growing that's a big 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 symptom and at first I thought I wasn't growing fast enough but now I'm like oh my gosh am I growing too fast now because now I feel pretty big it's 24 weeks so I'm like what am I gonna look like in four more weeks and then four more weeks and then four more weeks and then when I'm done am I gonna be like out till here I don't know <laughs> but we're gonna have to wait and see thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos love you bye